Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining to you what the binary number system is and how it works. So if you don't know already, the binary number system is a number system based on two. So that means that each digit in binary can only be either a one or a zero. And that means that no matter what number we're trying to represent in binary, it can only be ones and zeros. So let me just go ahead and show you how to convert a binary number into a decimal number. And if you don't know what decimal is, that's basically just a number system that we're used to, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Alright, so in paint here, I just drew out a binary number. So here we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So we have 8 bits right here. And a bit is basically just one of these binary digits. So this is a bit, this is a bit, this is a bit, and so on. Alright, so let's just say we wanted to convert this into decimal, or our number system. Well, what I'm going to do here is just start off by writing a 1 under this number, a 2 under this number, a 4, 8, and so on. So I'm going to do 16, 32, 64, and 128. Alright, so basically what we do right here is we just keep multiplying this by 2. So we start off with 1, we multiply that by 2, we get 2, we multiply 2 by 2, we get 4, then we get 8 and 16, and so on. Now, how does this relate to actually converting this binary number into decimal? Well, let me just go ahead and show you. So, since this number is a 1 right here, we're going to count it, so we count this 1. So I'm just going to go ahead and write down 1 right there. This is a 1 as well, so I'm just going to go ahead and add 2 to that 1. This is a 1 right here, so we count this 4. So we add 4. This is a 0, so we don't count the 8. This is a 0, so we don't count the 16. This is a 0, so we don't count the 32. But this right here is a 1. So we're going to go ahead and count this 64 right here. So let me just go ahead and add 64 to this. And as we can see, this last digit is a 0 as well. So we don't count the 128. All right, now if I were to add all these numbers together, they would add up to what this binary number represents. So let me just go ahead and open up the calculator right here and add together these uh, four numbers. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus um, 64 and we get 71. So 71 looks like this in binary and how can we be sure we're right? Well what you can do is just go in your calculator and change the view to programmer. Then we can see that decimal is already selected right here. And remember, decimal is just our number system, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So let me just go ahead and type in 71 right here. So I'll just type in 71. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change it to binary. So we want to convert this number 71 into binary numbers. So either a 1 or a 0. So I just click that. And we see that that is what 71 looks like in binary. So we get 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1, and it doesn't put the extra 0 on the end right here, but it's just like our numbers. So if we had like 71, well, 71 equals 0, 7, 1. So it's just the same thing. All right, so let me just run through one more quick example. So let me just go ahead and delete all that and paste down the one that I previously made. All right, so as you can see, this one is a lot bigger than the previous example. In the previous example, we were only working with 8 bits or 8 binary digits. Now we're working with 16 bits or 16 binary digits. And the reason that I separated these two right in the middle here is because these are two separate bytes. However, these two bytes can still be read together as one number. So let's just go ahead and calculate out what this number would actually be in decimal, which is our number system. So let me just change the brush right here. All right. So this is a 1, so we're going to count the 1. So we do 1 plus. We're going to count the 2 since this is a 1. And we're not going to count the 4 since this is a 0. We'll count both the 8 and 16 though since these are both 1s. So plus 8 and plus 16. We won't count the 32 or 64 since both of these are zeros, But we will count this 128 since this is a 1 right there. So plus 128. And now we just simply jump over to the next byte here and we'll count this 256 since this is a 1. So we count 256. 
we don't count 512 since this is a zero, but we do count um, 1024 or 1024. All right, so now if we just add um, all these up, we will get the number that this binary number represents. So let me just go back to the calculator and add all those numbers up right there. So we do 1 plus 2 plus 8, um, 16, 128, 256 and 1024 and we get 1435 let me just go ahead and write this down right here and then we can go ahead and check ourselves so remember to check ourselves all we have to do is just click on this binary right here this bin stands for binary just click on that and now we see um, we get what um, 1435 looks like in binary so let's just go ahead and check ourselves so it's one one zero one one zero zero one one zero one there you go alright so that's pretty much all there is to converting binary numbers into decimal numbers or into the numbers that you and I know so that's it for this tutorial so see you guys